In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting a connection error with Valorant. So sometimes it gives you a different code like van0 or fan-1. So make sure to follow the steps in this tutorial step by step to resolve this issue. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are currently on my desktop. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and click onto the search bar down here. Into the search box, go ahead and type services and underneath best match, you want to open up the services app. So from here and on this window, what you're going to want to do is look for VGC. So that's going to be right down the bottom. So this is in alphabetical order. So if you actually scroll all the way down to the bottom till you get to V and we're looking for this one here, VGC. What you want to do is click onto this and then right click and click onto properties. And then from here, there's a couple of things we're going to change. So what you want to do first is in the startup type box, you want to change this to automatic. And then what you want to do is click the start button down here. So it's just going to take a minute to run through and start this up. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK and just go ahead and close this box down. Now what you want to do is again come down to the search box down here and this time you want to type MS config and then go ahead and open up the system configuration app underneath best match. From here, what you're going to want to do is you've got some options at the top and you want to click on to services. And then what you want to do in this list of programs, first of all, you want to tick this box here where it says hide all Microsoft services and this just makes it a bit easier to find. If you scroll down, you just want to check in here that VGC is enabled. So you can see down here it's got a tick in the box, but if it doesn't have the tick, then what you can do is tick that box to enable it. So once that's done, just go ahead, click OK and restart your computer. And when you start up Valorant now, you should actually have no more issues with connecting. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you also consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.